teams merged into one FTC team, the Tigers, Helix Hackers, and the Flaming Lego Legends. Our FLL experience is combined of nine plus years. We are awarded first place championship at the qualifier level four times, qualified for the MD state competition six times, we have won Global Innovation Award two times, and we have qualified for the World Competition once. Our goal is to inspire more kids to join FIRST program, programs by sharing our experience. We had so much fun in FOL, and we would love to share that to many more students. The agenda for today's session is that we'll learn about core values, FLLC's core values, plans for your season, some team building exercises, the judging rubric, judging and the competition, our experiences with core values, a quiz for you all, and then a sneak peek. Core values. What do you think core values are? Type what you think on our slider poll. Your school may even have core values. There are three components to FLLC, project, robot game slash design, and core values. Core values is one aspect to FLC and everyone has to participate in this part. Core values expresses first philosophies and embodies all of first principles. Through core values, participants learn sportsmanship and teamwork. The first philosophies of gracious professionalism and competition are expressed through core values. Overall, core values are the team dynamics and how well the team works together. Um, we'll check what you all typed in our Slido poll now uh, for what you guys all think uh, core values are. Um, we'll see what you all think if you have any answers. Otherwise, we'll go back into the presentation. Um, does anyone have any answers? Because then. Okay. Oh, core values are how the team works together. That's almost, that's like, that's really close to the actual what core values are. Yeah, they're really important in how your team works together. Good job, whoever typed that. Good job. Yeah, we'll go back into the slideshow now. So what are first core values? There are six main core values. Discovery, innovation, inclusion, impact, teamwork, and fun. These are all very important and should be treated equally. There are also two other core values, but they're not technically core values, but they are very important. And these six core values over here are based off of them. So there's gracious professionalism, which is a way of doing things that encourages high quality work, emphasizes the value of others, and respects individuals and the co community. There's also coopertition, which as you can notice, is a hybrid of the word cooperation and competition. It is showing kindness to other teams, even though you'll be competing with them. We'll get into more depth with these core values in the coming slides. Discovery. The definition of discovery is exploring new skills and ideas. For example, in project, we use discovery by researching problems, researching existing solutions to problems, and reaching out to professionals or experts. We learned a new skill of programming a software called Arduino on our prototype. For robot design slash robot game, we use discovery by programming. This can be when you learn new blocks. We also used discovery when we designed our robot. This can be creating a new att attachment, for example. Outside FLLC, we use discovery by going to field trips or learning a new concept at school. Now we'll talk about innovation. Innovation is when you use creativity and persistence to solve problems, or you can add on to what has already been created. So in FLLC's project, you use innovation when you're coming up with an innovative solution. For your innovative solution, you can take a solution that already exists exist and improve it, or you can create a completely new one. One of our teams showed innovation through the project by creating a prototype. They had a lot of fun building it and cutting wood to build it. In robot design and robot game, you show innovation when you're designing the robot and making attachments. One of our teams showed innovation when they made attachments by creating a frame, which is an attachment that is easy to slide on and slide off of your robot. 
You can also show innovation outside of FLLC if you're trying to create a unique product. Thanks. The definition of impact is we apply what we learn to improve our world. In project, we showed impact when we talked to a senior center for advice on our project relating to dementia patients. Our project was related to senior centers, so we met with one of the heads of a local senior center. For robot design slash robot game, we use impact by mentoring other teams and letting other teams practice on our map. Outside of FLLC, we use impact when we went to events to spread the word about FIRST. Our team would go to events to teach people about STEM and FLC. We even went to our school's STEM fair and showed our robot and project. One of our teams advocated for robot robotics at the state senate. They supported public places to give a place for robotics teams to work in case teams, teams didn't have one. They used their FLLC skills to make a difference in our community. Teamwork. Teamwork is when you're stronger when we work together than you are independently. Teamwork is key in FLLC. It is near to impossible to, to complete FLLC if each person did all the work ind independently. In project, you use teamwork when you're identifying a problem as a problem, and you can also use teamwork when you're discussing possible solutions. In robot design and robot game, you use teamwork when you're coming up with the best design. For example, one of our teams had had a discussion on the type of attachment. Two people liked one way, but two people liked another way. So we used teamwork and built both attachments and decided which one was better. You, use, you also use teamwork when you're planning the exact timing for putting attachments on and taking them off in the robot match. Outside of FLLC, you can use teamwork at group projects at school or in sports teams or other clubs. Fun. Fun is when we enjoy and celebrate what we do. Having fun is the most important core value. Fun is a fundamental core value. For project, we had fun by meeting new experts and people. We went on field trips, we wore costumes and made a skit, and we made a prototype. For robot design and robot game, we had fun by having successful runs and designing our attachment. Outside of FLC, we had fun by celebrating our victories and playing games. We took breaks in the middle of our meetings to talk or play games. Our team enjoyed these a lot. Now we'll talk about Coopertition. Coopertition is showing kindness to other teams even though you're competing with them. Remember that Coopertition is a mix of the word cooperation and competition. So remember that Coopertition is technically not one of the core values but the six core values we mentioned before are based off of this and gracious professionalism. So our experiences with Coopertition are as followed. So we mentored teams, even if they're going to be in the same competition as us. For example, the Helix Hackers mentored team Urban Bots at FLLC, even though they ended up being in the same qualifier. We told puns and jokes to other teams to make them smile and feel less nervous about the competition. We gave goodies to other teams as a sign of good luck. And we helped other teams and also received teams help. For example, one time another team's EV3 brick froze and our team was our team helped them. And this also happened to us, and another team was lucky to help us too. These are all examples of good co competition to show. Gracious professionalism. Gracious professionalism is the most important value, core value of FIRST. What does gracious professionalism mean to you? Gracious professional means to work as a team, always put your 110% effort and to help others achieve their goals. For example, this team went to UMBC to help build mission models that would be used in competitions all over Maryland. It shows how dedicated we are to helping the FIRST community. We aspire to help and inspire other teams to continue FIRST. For Team B, gracious professionalism was working together as a team, respecting everyone's ideas, and help others when they are struggling. They helped the team out of competition when the EV3 bit froze. Core values are an outline to having a successful team. They're like guidelines your team must follow. Your team should take note of what your team enjoys or moments demonstrating core values through the season. You can relay this 
story to the judges so they understand too. Now we'll talk about plans for the season in terms of core values. So throughout the season, you should plan to attend mentoring or robotics events. If you become, make sure to mentor some teams after you've gained a good experience in FLLC. You should also document experiences involving the core values. Keep notes of these experiences as you can easily share the, to the judges what happened so they can understand, they, that shows that you understand the core values. You can also create a presentation before the qualifiers. The qualifiers for Maryland are in December and creating a presentation is optional, but we highly recommend it. You can create a trifold board showcasing experiences of your team and pictures. We recommend that you put a lot of pictures and colors as judges will remember that. You can also create a presentation such as a skit, a song, etc., for the judges and it can be two to three minutes. Our team created a skit showing, that, showing how core values is used. And another team we know created a song demonstrating all the core values. That way the judges can easily remember your team. Team building exercises. Team building exercises can help bring your teammates together. These exercises are really fun and they should help your team get ready for the challenges that you will receive in the core values room. Examples include, the human pyramid, making alphabet letters, guiding a teammate through an obstacle, human web, charades, puzzles, and any team game. We had fun doing this and we have always enjoyed doing this as a team. We recommend it a lot. Now we'll talk about the core values judging rubric. So there are four columns up here, as you can see, beginning, which is a one, developing, which is a two, accomplished, which is a three, and exceeds, which is a four. You should try to aim for an accomplished or exceed score in all of these checkboxes. So now we'll talk about the specific rows. So in this, you, the questions that you'll see on the side that we'll go through are all, are all questions that the judges should be able to positively and confidently answer after your 10 minute judging session. So discovery. Did you show the judges how you learn new skills throughout the season? Innovation. Did your team use create, did your team persist through challenges and did you have creative solutions? Impact. Did you use FLLC skills outside of FLLC? Inclusion. Was your team kind to one another? Teamwork. Did your team work together to overcome obstacles and fun? Did you show how much fun you had in FLOC and how much you enjoyed it? Remember that at the competition, judges are walking around uh, around the whole day to see how your team treats one another and other teams. So, make, so remember that the judging rubric isn't everything for core values. Judging in competition. There's one interview at a competition dedicated to core values. During the interview, your team will be given an activity to see how well you all work together. Make sure to talk about your team. And when you're in the judging room, be creative. You can sing a song, perform a skit, make a trifle board, or do anything that showcases your team and core values. Then you will have an an answer question session with the judges. Your judging session will be made up of two or three parts. You will have a two minute activity or a challenge that your team takes part in. It is something simple to see how well of how well the team works together. Then you can either allocate the rest of the time for questions or you can split the time into a maxim maximum three minute presentation, show your trifold board, sing a song, perform a skit, have a script, etc. And the rest of the time is for questions. Be kind to your team and other teams during the competition because judges are walking around to see core values in action. Now we'll talk about our experiences with core values. So at the judging session, we, we wore costumes and performed a skit about core values. We dressed up as different characters and showed them fighting at the beginning, but learning core values along the way. We also made a trifold board dedicated to core values, showing, showcasing some of our experiences. As you can see here, this was the Helix Hackers core values board. Judges really just want 
just remain calm and judges just want to really see how your team works together. Be sure to treat everyone in the room, including the judges, with respect. So with other teams, you should try to talk and socialize with them at mentoring events or even at the competition. We gave gifts to other teams, such as pencils or candy, during the competition. We mentored other teams throughout the season, and we told puns to other teams to make them laugh at the competition. Now we'll talk about team meetings. This is where most of your time will be spent. Your teammates are your friends, so be polite to each other and have fun. So we gave compliments to each other to make everyone feel happy and welcome. And when we let, other we let each other to share opinions, we had better discussions. You should make sure not to interrupt anyone. And when you can't come to an agreement, write pros and cons of all the ideas and then have a collective decision. Questions? If you have any, type it on the Slido or unmute yourself at this time. If you want, you can raise your hand and we can unmute or call on you. Uh, okay, so someone asked, as teammates join through online meetings of their time, is there any suggestions for sharing Legos and discussing designs? Um, okay, so for online meetings right now, so since you're probably gonna be meeting on Zoom, since most people aren't gonna meet in person, you can share designs, you can talk about designs, like you can research. There's a lot of videos from previous seasons, there's a lot of pictures, and you can just research different types of designs and you can go off of that. And for the sharing of Lego pieces, you can either split it up so that like one person builds the first half, one person builds the second half, or, and if you're comfortable, you can maybe meet and build it together, or you can just have a, uh, or you can just decide of a design and then have one person build it. It says core values are very important rules. Yeah, core values are important rules that you should follow. They're kind of like guidelines. Are there any more questions? Is it possible for a team to get fours on each and every category? I mean, yeah, I guess it is possible to get all fours and core values, but it's not, it doesn't happen super often. So don't be like bummed out if you don't get a four in every category. You can definitely have that as your goal. Like you should aim for a three or four in every category. As, as long as the judges like remember you, you gave them a positive feeling and you followed all the core values, you should be fine. We suggest that you should also like wear costumes. Like in the judging room, if you want to stand out, make sure to do like wear costumes and like have a skit. We would really recommend having a skit or a special board or a song or just something to set you apart from other teams. Yeah, something that they can remember you by. Um, if you have any more questions, you can feel free to unmute yourself about core values. Um, yeah, just feel free to unmute yourself or type it in the chat if you can't access the Slido. We'll wait here for a few more minutes just to see if anyone has any questions. Um, yeah, you can ask any questions, like, don't be shy. Core cool. values help you get a closer relationship with your team. Yeah, that is correct. It does help you get a closer relationship with your team. So someone asked, why do we need the core values? Okay, so the core values are basically, as we stated, like an outline to having a successful team. You want your team to be successful. And if you don't use the core values, you'll be more likely to get into arguments or have like not super, like not super good discussions when you're trying to decide a topic for project or if you're deciding a design for the robot. So it's really important that you use the core values. Like if you didn't use teamwork, then it'll be really hard to complete the season. Also core values is one of the three components of FOLC. And in core values, 
It's also a judging room, so you should have core values, and core values help your team be better. How often should we do team building activities? So we would do it like about like maybe once in two weeks. There's not like a set time, like a strict time, like you should always do it. And like not many, or not all teams actually did it, but we did because we thought it was really fun to do as a team and it helped build our team together. It also helps like in the judging room, like as we mentioned in the judging room, you're actually given a challenge. Like your, your team is like presented a challenge that you have to complete in a certain amount of time. So if you do team building exercises, it could help with that. But yeah, we just recommend it because it's really fun to do. And it's like, you can take fun pictures. You can, it's just really fun to do overall. Yeah, you, you can take pictures and post it on your board. The um, judges will actually really like that. We'll wait a few more minutes if anyone has really any good questions because the last few questions were really, really good. Are there other core values? No, these are all the core values we talked about and the main core values. I mean, you can always like have your, your team can always have like their own core values. Like if you have an idea for another one that your team showed, yeah, you can always include it. Um, but the six we mentioned are first core values that they post on their website. There's the six, so it's innovation, inclusion, impact, teamwork, fun. Yeah, those those six are, and discovery, those six are all very important. But yeah, you, you can always create your own or, yeah. When do we use the core values? So you should always be using core values, um, no matter where you are. At, like when we did our presentation, we talked how it was used outside of Hall C um, in project and robot game and design. You should always use core values and you should always be respectful to other people and be polite. Yeah, adding on to what um, she said, you don't always have to use it just in team meetings or just in the competition. You can use it at school too. You use core values everywhere. So what if you don't use core values? So um, I don't know if you're talking about like in the competition or like in general, but um, for like the competition, if you don't use core values, like the judges are always walking around, like even if you're not in the interview, so that you will get a penalty and or not a penalty, but the judges won't be like that. Won't yeah, you'll get a penalty. You won't do that well as you should maybe if you did use core values. And in the judging room, yeah, when they're specific, there's a specific interview for core values, so you should always be using it. Um, Tej, you can explain why um if we use it like if we don't use it in the yeah. if you don't use it at the competition they catch like they see you like being mean to your team or you know like not saying nice things to other teams it won't the judges won't be super like enthusiastic about moving you to the next round or anything and if you don't use core values in, in general like even at home meetings or with your friends or anything you won't have such good conversations and you won't be able to get much done so how did you talk about your core values? Like in front of the court judges, do you just state the core values you did? Um, so the format for the judging session is that they're gonna give you a challenge. So they'll check, they'll basically, for the challenge, they can just see how you work as a team. So that can maybe decide one of their decisions. Then you're, you can, it's optional, you can have a little presentation about your team. So. We just show uh, my team when I was in FLLC, we dressed up in costumes and we just showed that we knew the core values. Like we dressed up in different Star Wars characters, showed them fighting at the beginning and then becoming friends by learning the core values. And then later you're gonna have a Q, you're gonna have a Q and A and during the Q and A, they can ask you questions and just like, oh, give me an example of this core value or something like that. They'll give you something along those lines and that's how they can determine uh, what core values you did. So adding on to my teammate, also like how they use core values, one of the most, um, one of the questions like in judging rooms that we always got is how do you use core values outside of LLC and how do you use gracious professionalism? And they will also ask you like, did you mentor other teams or did you like work together with other teams? What is the most important core value? So they're all really important core values. And you can have, like your team, for like our team, for example, has like a favorite core value, which is having fun. So that one's our favorite. You can have your, you can like see how, which ones are most important to you. There's no important, the most important core value. They're all really pretty important. 
Yeah, and gracious professionalism and competition aren't exactly one of, they don't count as one of the six core values, but all the six core values are based off of them. So you can't, there's not really a most important core value. You have to value all of them. And you're, like my teammate said, you can have a favorite one if you want to. Um, if anyone else has any more questions, you can feel free to unmute yourself, type it in Slido, or if you can't access that, I have the chat open, so you can type in there too. Also, if you want to raise your hand, and we can unmute you. Um, if that's all, oh. Okay, someone raised I have that. a question. Yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, so if you have can we um, t like type questions into the chat, even if like, um, you're not like, it's not during the time that you're supposed to ask questions? Um, yeah, sure. If you can't access the Slido, yeah, you can do that. Um, <laughs> We'd prefer if you were using Slido, but sure, if you cannot access, like David said. Wait, even in Slido, you can do that too anytime? Yeah, you can type anytime and all the questions will pile up and we'll see it. Okay. We'll come back to it at the end of the session too. Um, someone asked, out of all the core values, which one is your favorite? Um, okay, so my favorite core value, I have two. Mine's two favorite core values are teamwork and fun. Because you need teamwork to have a successful team, and you've got to have a fun team to make it interesting. My favorite core value would be um, fun, too. And this is not, as previously mentioned, competition isn't a core value, but I think it's really important. Like, you should always be nice to other teams, even though you're competing. For example, like, many teams were really nice to us. Like, when our brick froze, other teams helped us, and so we were really grateful. Do we need to spend time in the season for core values? So it's not like project or robot, which you just like, got to be building something. It's nothing like that. It's just something you should be having throughout the season. Like you should always show core values to your teammates. You should always be kind to your coaches. You should always be kind to other teams. And you just document those experiences throughout the season. Like, oh, we showed core values today by doing this. And then later, right before the qualifying event, you can create a board if you want to with some of with some of your memories, some experiences. And so you don't even necessarily spend like months and months on core values. It's something that happens all the time. And if you're wondering on like preparation for the for the um, competition, then you could always create a board or create a skit at, towards the end of the season or towards the end of prep time before the qual qualifiers. Do core value judging count for something? Yes, it does count for a really big part and plays a really big role. For example, um, for, as I mentioned before, core values is one of the three components of FLLC. So it does have like one third of the weightage and is really important. If you do yeah. not have core, core, good core values, you will not move on to the next round. So core values are really important. It's just as it's um, so like project and robot are two different parts of, core, of FLL. There's like three different parts. Core values is the other part. So it's like you should treat the judging session for core values just like how you treat any other judging session because it does count the same as um, project would, for example. Are there any more questions? Um, if that's all for right now, oh, one more. Can we add drawings on the board? I don't know what. Board. I think they mean the core values board. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, you can. You don't have to just print stuff. You can even just write on the board. There's no um, requirements for the board. It's like completely optional. Just be creative, have fun, showcase some core values. Like, I know our team for one of the seasons, we drew, like, it was into orbit. So, we drew planets on the board. Yeah, just have fun with it. Core values is all about fun and working as a team. So I wanted to add on to my teammate. Um, even though the board is optional, we really recommend you do it because the judges will really like it. And yeah, you can add drawings to the board. And basically for a city shaper, city shaper, we also um, draw, we drew um, like 
cities and like buildings. So can we add drawing to the board that we make at the end? Um, yeah, you can, you can add anything, anything to the board. It's really up to you. There's no like requirement or format per se. If we make a board, what do we put on it? So for what we did, we put like our, all our core values and we showed how we use them and throughout our FOL journey or FOL season. So for example, in teamwork, we gave examples like how we use them, like we did team building exercises as previously mentioned. Yeah, you just, so we, the way we did it was that we would like write all the core values, like teamwork, inclusion, and then we'd write like a few examples of how our team showed that throughout the season. And then we just put pictures on it and we just drew so it looked pretty and fun. Yeah. Um, if that's all, then I guess we can just go back to the slideshow now. Quiz time. We have a quiz prepared for you on Slido today. It is completely optional, so don't worry too much about it. We just want to see how much you learned today in our session. Sorry. Um, here, um, I'll just go through the quiz with you all so you can all see my screen, but you guys can do it too. So we'll start the quiz. So Sue, Sean, Albert, Keisha, and Keisha were on an FLLC team called the Robo Machines. Keisha trips during the judging session and Sue yells at her. Albert and John are play fighting. Will their team do well in the core values aspect? Let's see what all of your answers are. So most people said no because they're not demonstrating teamwork or inclusion. That is correct. If you can't um, access the Slido quiz right now, you can just you can unmute yourself with the answer if you have an answer. So that's the correct answer because they're not demonstrating teamwork or inclusion because they're not working as a team and they're not including everyone. Good job for this question. Everyone got it right. So yeah, that's correct. Um, just keep going then. Okay, what are the different core values of FLLC? I don't know if everyone can join the quiz, but if you can't, then you can just um, tell me. Is discovery a core value? Oh, okay, so um, yeah, discovery is a core value. Luck is not a core value. Innovation is a core value. Being silly is not a core value. Impact is a core value. Invention's not a core value, but innovation is. Teamwork is a core value. Helping, no, it goes under kindness, but both kindness and helping are not um, core values. Inclusion is a core value, and fun is also a core value. So some people didn't get that fun and impact aren't our core values, but fun and impact are. An easy way to remember is that there's three core values that begin with an I and three that don't become begin with an I. So yeah, most of you guys got it correct. Good job guys, you're doing really well in this quiz. Yep. So what does Cupertition mean? Sorry if that's spelled wrong, it's Cupertition. So it's not letting other teams win because it's about having a good competition, but you don't have to just like let other teams win. Showing kindness by stealing their pieces. No, you don't want to steal pieces. If you want to borrow pieces, you can ask them. It's not about being mean, and like 100% of the people who filled out the quiz said, it is showing kindness to other teams, even though you're competing with them. So competition's okay, just you have to be kind to other teams. So yeah, you're correct. Good job. And that's all. So. That's all. Yep, if you've gotten the quiz correct, good job. We'll go back and end the slideshow now. You all did really good job for the quiz. Almost everyone got the answers right. Okay, now we'll do a sneak peek. 
So we hope that you all had fun at our beginner FLLC training sessions. And as most of you all know, this is our last training session for beginner FLLC so far. But coming soon, drum roll please. an intermediate slash advanced FLLC workshop. It'll include advanced programming, sample mission completion, and some important tips and tricks. We'll be sending an email in the near future for more details. So if you're interested in signing up, stay tuned. Thank you for joining us today and we hope you had fun learning about our core values. Join us for our FL our learning adventure through FLLC. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at helixhackardsftc at gmail.com. And please fill out the feedback form in the chat. Thank you. If anyone, if anyone would like a mentor throughout the season, since the season has officially started, just feel free to email us at, this, at the email provided on your screen, and we'll be happy to mentor you about FLLC. Bye, thank you. Thank you so much thank for joining you. us today. Bye, thank you. Bye. Bye, thank you. Bye. Regular other people. Thank you. And the people are super.